Hey everybody, what if you open up Quilters Creative Touch and you put in your safe zone and then you went to open up a pantograph that you had already created and you wanted to use it again and it told you that it did not fit inside your safe area. Let's try it. We'll open up pantograph, we'll add in our safe area, we'll make it 70 inches wide and 15 inches long. And I'm in basic mode as you can see. And then I'm going to add in the actual height of my quilt, which will be, let's say, 90. Now, I'm going to select a pattern. And it's going to be something that I've used previously. And I'm going to open it as a pantograph. So you see, it says the width of the panto design does not fit into the safe area. If possible, you must increase the safe area width. The width of the panto design does not fit within the safe area. The panto design width is 104. My safe area is only 70. It says touch OK to go into settings where you can reset this. It just restates what it wanted to tell you uh, with the error icon box previously. You can close that. So then it takes you to your settings. And what we're seeing here is I set the width to 70. And my quilt is actually 104 inches. So perhaps I want to change this. And instead of 70, I'm going to make that uh, 115. How's that? 115. So that will clearly accommodate my quilt. And then I can say OK. So let's try opening that one more time. Select our pattern. Pantograph. It's rendering the pattern. All right. So since I set the safe area at 115, my quilt width at 104 will fit. And now my actual total height, I'm going to set that as 90 at 90. So if you should ever get that error message when you're setting your safe area and you decide to open up a panto that you had created previously and then you find that it won't fit, you can change the dimensions of your safe area so that you will be able to open up that pattern that you've saved from a previous time. That's all I have. Thank you.